So this is a really cool anatomical model I got from Dynamic Disc Designs. It's clear vertebrae as well as the disc inside. And if you look down from the top, you can see where the nucleus is, the blue spot, as well as all the vascular structure all the way around. And a really cool part about this is that it shows where the lateral nerve roots come out, but if we move that over, you can see where there's this little red tear on the back of the disc. So in something like that, if we were to put the spine into a flexion moment, like this, night compression, you can see the nucleus actually start popping out. So it starts to show really clearly what happens when you have any kind of a disc bulge or herniation. So imagine if this lateral nerve root here is really tight into the spinal cord, like right here, and then we go through spine flexion. So you see how the nucleus pushes out and actually gets onto the nerve root. So that's, if we were to push the spine into flexion, we get a lot of that posterior pressurization of the disc, the nucleus starts jamming in onto that nerve root. Now if we go into extension, that doesn't happen, so we don't have that disc pop out. If we just do vertical compression, we can get a little bit, but it doesn't happen nearly as much as if we just do minor flexion. Rotation is another one where you can get a little bit of herniation, but not really a lot due to the facet joints getting in the way. The really cool part is it shows how much movement you actually get out of the facet joints, which isn't a lot, but if we get that flexion moment, Say we're lining up to do a deadlift and we let our spine go into flexion and then we load it, disc bulge. Exact mechanism of injury to have any kind of disc issues pressing on that lateral nerve root. So it's a really cool little model and I got it from Dynamic Disc Designs.